all the disciples were crucified but one, John. One same one was with Jesus at the at the at the, at the, at the, at the cross. Everybody else was crucified, terrified, crucified from the truth, from the belief that what God put in them. I said, "Why, Father? You know what He told me? That I believe He said. He said until." You be set free and you speak the truth to set people free, you're going to be crucified too. Amen. So you say, ain't no disciples, ain't no churches, ain't no ministers, ain't nothing got to do with your word out here because they ain't being crucified. They ain't really putting the truth out. I was like, wow. That's what he told me. Because with that Stevenson, Stevenson was only a deacon and they, and they crucified him. And Saul had something to do with that. He was only a deacon and he got crucified. The long fivefold ministry, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher, or pastor, fivefold ministry, a deacon ain't none of that. So that means he was a deacon and he was out doing fivefold ministry. And got stoned to death. How many people y'all know? How many churches y'all know getting stoned? Coming all the windows broken. Went in there and displayed the whole house down. Sometimes they ain't got to be crucified as death. But what Jesus said, if you speaking the truth like the disciples did, you're going to get crucified because they crucified me and they're going to crucify you. That's what he said. So once you start speaking the truth, now God can cover you in a way for not, stuff not to happen as a whole, but he, they're going to come at you. They're coming at you because the truth is what it is. I tell you the truth. All of these things will happen to you people who are living now. You hear what he's saying? This is something that's going to happen in our, in our, in our time. And if we die, it's going to happen in our children's time. And if they die, it's going to happen. It don't end. Until he come, until we see him come, it's going to happen. So ain't nothing, tell me, uh, 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 um, um, the majority saved and the world going to be saved. Uh, Jesus coming back. It ain't going to happen until he come back. He bringing the true kingdom like uh, 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 um, um, brother, um, um, brother, you know, brother said they that the God's gonna bring a new heaven, new earth down. That's what's gonna happen. That's what God's gonna do. You know, Cab said that last a couple of days ago. I right? he said God's gonna bring a new heaven. Until that time come, he said, I tell you the truth. All of these things will happen to you. Because it already happened to the dead. It already happened to the dead. Because once you die, you don't know nothing. The Bible say the dead know nothing. So he talking about. He already, you, you already told. He already told you. He, he every time he talk about dead, <laughs> he never talk about the dead as they dead in the, in the grave. He always pointed dead out of people living now and they walking dead, even though they ain't in the grave. So this is kind of faith God want to give us. We got to get, we got to continue to pray, go back to these scriptures, study these scriptures, make yourself approved. You know what I'm saying? Because God is really showing us how to conduct faith level miracles, blessings, healings, and everything else. He's showing us. And he gave us another piece. He gave us another piece of the puzzle today that for you to have a, a, a for you to be big as a mustard seed and to be one to be walking through mountains or walking on water, them kind of miracles, that kind of faith, you got to do what? Prayer and fasting. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.